today I'm testing another steel so we've got here a 3 kilowatt continuous stripping steel that's processing sugar based wash so I've got some wash over here now I'm processing a really old one it's probably 6 months old the last one that I still got so I need to start another batch for the testings now this one is really cold because we've got winter right now and it's about 7% alcohol content anyway here we've got almost 50% so you can process any wash actually it's like 3% 5% content but doesn't matter but don't expect uh, same speed of uh, same production speed same flow from the cold old wash with no alcohol in it so without any content uh, and vice versa if you've got really fresh one at about 12 percent alcohol content not really cold one the production speed production flow will be much faster much higher now here we've got steel uh, over there we can see the water within the steam generator so it's a control tube and also it's safety tube it's a plastic one now over here over here in the lid of the steam generator you can see an extra hole it's not a hole it's a pocket for the um, temperature probe for someone who would like to make some sort of uh, temperature runaway protection or whatever so this is it this is for for the protection for the installation of the thermocouple uh, now We've got our production over here, carry on distillation. What else? This one is a control, it's a flow control valve, and it controls the flow of the wash into the column. This tube is a control tube that shows the level of the wash within the column. The best thing to keep it somewhere around here where I marked this particular place so it's uh, about two-thirds up from the bottom and one-third down so it's a good should be good conversion ratio no loss of alcohol into the drain here we've got supply down here there's a plastic tube so it's a wash in it going into the column now people some people asking uh, what about preheating and everything so the bottom of the steel is actual preheat a whole steel consists of a uh, number of different heat exchangers so we just collecting heat from everything including some uh, alcohol it goes down the pipe at the same time you can see the wash going into the heat exchanger so the wash uh, that goes into the heat exchanger it picks up the temperature and goes all the way around it's sort of maze few meters of tubing and the wash going through all those tubes and it starts from the bottom collecting the heat from the waste water that coming out of the steel something like that so i've got a video about how to build such a steel and so uh, you can see everything over there now the steel is actually silent by nature all we can hear is just a submersible pump that pumps the wash into the steel um, what else what else uh, this green tube it's a waste reduction tube and all spent wash going into the drain. Now we carry on our distillation. You can see it's running fine. Everything's stable. These steels are really stable. They can run 24/7. Uh, the only thing is the water quality that's supplied into the steam generator. If uh, water contains a lot of lime, it may produce some scales 
on the heating elements that may affect the efficiency of the steel so for that fill up the steam generator with table vinegar boil it for a couple of minutes so run steel on the table vinegar drain it and vinegar gonna will dissolve all this all the scales all the lime all the deposits now over here we've got water supply this one is water supply so it's uh, got uh, half inch BSP connection just standard for the pipe supply and the user can technically remove this one and uh, plug it directly to the main and also plug this end with something and run the cooling cooling part of the steel separately from the water supply by doing this it's possible to save a lot of water what else can i say about the steel i don't know i don't know it's robust stainless construction overbuilt i would say it's a lot of welding i'm not cutting the welding joints i'm not trying to make it pretty i'm trying to make it stronger all the time every time i'm showing the same steels all over again and again it's not for the sake of showing it's just testing and i have to just have to make this video for the customer to see how the bloody thing performs that it's been working that it's built that it exists now it's three kilowatt unit running out of 220 volts uh, power supply the pump requires 12 volt DC to run the wash I believe this is it